Today we're gonna show you what you can do with your skirts when they get chomped. But first, um, it's been a few videos now and haven't given the lure away, so we're gonna give this one away. Nine inch Moke Invert for this video. So subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below and you will be entered to win this one. Okay. So, you know, a lot of times, even when you're ahi fishing and you're trying to avoid getting your nice lures chopped up, you run into some deep water onos and that's what happened on this half head. Um, last time we ran, we had two onos and one of them basically took half of these skirts. So I'm gonna show you guys um, one of the tricks that I use to save some money and also you can get a lot more creative if you, um, use this technique that I'm gonna show you. And also I know a lot of you Outer Island guys have a lot um, more trouble getting your hands on skirts. So I'm gonna show you how to make use of your ripped skirts or cut skirts. Be right back. I'm sure we all have a box like this with all skirts that we either tied and untied or the owner bit it and you couldn't quite bring yourself to throw the skirts away, but you don't know what to do with them. So um, this is what I do with when I when I make lures. Um, Especially if I'm gonna make Ono lures and I know they're gonna get wrecked again. So let me uh, get this lure set up and I'll show you um, how I do it. Okay, so I guess what I'll do first is I'll show you how I take skirts off. Um, if you're newer, I get, I get that question from time to time. So what I'm gonna do is Put some coconut oil. Basically just gonna reverse the process. And then flip this guy over. And back it up. Okay, so for me, I just go right to where I, I tied my knot and I get a hook and I just stick it in there. and I pick the knot apart basically. Once I get the knot apart, take off the wax line. I cook on the oil on the inside. And then the top skirt comes off. That one's probably the one that's more tricky and the bottom one's a lot easier. All you do is just same things, pick the, pick the knot off. And wrap it and put on the skirt off. So, wait my hands here. Basically got oops, a half skirt here and a half skirt here. So what I'm gonna do is, since this was on this skirt, I'm gonna try and save as much from this guy as possible. If I get my scissors.
So I'm gonna take my scissors and make a cut where, let me do it here, where the skirt's already short. And I'm just gonna open this skirt up like this. Okay, so now what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the legs that are still good. And I, ideally I want two, two at a time. So I'm gonna take um, this section right here out. Adjust this Try and cut this as evenly and nicely as you can. And that one's not I'll go with four on that. Okay, and I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing with the outer skirt. I'm gonna save all the longer the legs that are still good, basically. And I'm gonna, for, I'm gonna try and get as much of this purple out as I can. Okay, so so basically what I did was I cut enough, I tried to salvage as many of the legs as I could to make a bottom skirt. And then I try and cut cut them so that they're nice and square the whole way. Sometimes you'll make a cut and it ends up, you can't get the top part right, so I probably won't use this one, but it had longer legs, so I'm just gonna leave it here um, in case I need it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna decide where I'm gonna put all of these guys and then um, and then I'll show you how I tie them up okay so I decided on on these pieces to to make my underskirt and you know if you don't if you don't have enough then you can again go go to your skirt scrap box and you know cut some 
some legs off of, off another skirt, but I, I'm pretty sure I can make this one work with, with these legs, so <clears throat> um, that's what I'm gonna do. And I decided to keep the bottom one as a four, four piece, so. Now all you're gonna do is get your super glue. I don't normally use this one, but I couldn't find regular super glue in a gel form. And I like the gel one because you only need a real little bit of super glue and the gel one stays where you want it to stay when you're trying to, you're gonna glue these onto the head. So this is basically how the Marlin guys do their, do their vinyl. So if you do vinyl, then um, you already know how to do this. So I'm just gonna take my glue. put a speck there and then I'm gonna put the skirt where I tied it originally right to the notch and you know five to ten seconds and it should hold all you're trying to do with this is tack the skirts in place so that you can tie tie them on later if you put a shit ton of super glue here when it's time to redo this lure again you're gonna have a mess trying to take take these skirts that you glued on off so just use just enough glue so that it stays there so that you can tie okay so it's there and then i'm just gonna work my way Another thing too is try and make sure you kind of lift it up. No, it's hard to do this bolt, but and make sure the legs hang straight. And I'm gonna just work my way around I'll put one there. Kind of want to also take note like I, I know I, I glued this one on kind of like at the bottom side of this eye so I want to do the same for the other side just to make sure that the skirts are as even as possible this glue actually works out really good And all I'm gonna do is work my way around this lure head and tack my underskirt on. Oh. I actually have to trim this one. And the rest of these guys. I'm just trying to make it so it lines up correctly. So that's all you want. You just want to <clears throat> tack. 
those skirts in place. And now you're just gonna take your wax line and tie your skirts like normal. Go easy when you do that first wrap, just so you don't move your skirts around. Okay, so at this point, you pretty much have your underskirt. The other thing I like about doing it this way, sometimes I'll put a regular, a new skirt down, and I'll actually use these legs to make my third skirt if I want to do a triple skirt, because it lays way more nicely. You don't get this big hip over here from the skirt, so. Anyways, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna trim off the excess. And I'll just work my way around. And so that basically makes your own underskirt. And you know, again, you can, this way too, like I said, you can get creative and you can make a underskirt combo that you cannot find at the store. Um, so that's what I came up with. And then now you're just gonna tie your top skirt right on top. I was gonna use the milky, but I forgot I had this um this one already cut. And I don't know. I don't know why we threw this back in the box, but something must be wrong with it that I don't see right now. So anyways. Tie your top skirt on like you normally would. Okay, so there's your underskirt that you just tied, and then now you know from there you do everything you would do with a normal lure. Your legs are gonna be longer 
on the one that you glued on, so just trim them off. I decided to tie some wings on this guy. I'm just gonna add that on real quick. We do have a wing skirting video if you guys want to check it out. Um, I'll put the link in the description. I'm just trying to do this as quickly as I can. And there you go. You know, at least save you from buying an underskirt and also making use of, of what you got. So, if you look at it, you wouldn't even be able to tell that that's not a complete skirt underneath, so. So there you have it guys, um, a neat little trick to save you some money and again, you know, if you're the creative type, you can pretty much come up with any underskirt combination that um, you want. So don't forget to leave a comment below if you want to enter to win this one and if you're not subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel. Um, the reason why we're pushing subscribing to our channel so much is the more subscribers we have, the more um, YouTube recognizes us and puts our videos in, um, in the search or in the feed, you know, when, you, when you're watching a video and the next video is gonna come up, we'll show up there. Um, so I need you guys to help us out and subscribe, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got some good information and I hope you guys are having an awesome ahi season. Aloha.